welcome your next comic to the stage. Give it up for Allison Ogilvy. Thank you. Evening, everyone. Don't worry, I have not shat myself. I've just... <laughs> The walks like this because I've been doing a lot of riding recently, mainly horses, <laughs> bareback, and my favourite is a big stallion called Boney. He just reminds me of the good old days. Anyway, talking about riding, I was thinking of um, starting up an adult retreat camp where adults could get away from it all. And there's only one rule that we have to go by. That is, we must act like dogs at all times. Can you imagine taking a shit anywhere you like? Somebody pisses you off, you just show them your teeth and they'll get the message. Best of all, you can get your hole licked a lot without even asking. Now, talking about holes getting licked, there's a... A lot of uh, cougars been getting spotted recently in uh, the trails at Coquitlam, which is where I live. But um, the biggest sighting so far has actually been recently at BC Place. I don't know if you all know, but One Direction were in town. I was there. Which caused a mass female erection. And to be honest, I don't have anything against cougars. I used to know one actually very well. She was a bitch. She left my life round about the time I was getting treatment for my multiple personality disorder. What kind of friend actually does that? Anyway, if there's any men in the audience looking to escape a cougar, do not Google it. Okay? The advice on Google is, if a cougar's after you, Dance with a younger woman so the cougar can see. That is seriously just going to piss her off. The other one is, phone your wife. Really? These women got their name from mountain lions. If she wants a piece of you, you are not going anywhere. <laughs> I have been getting asked recently about, um, like, anti-wrinkle cream. What do I use? What do you recommend to keep yourself young? I am young, by the way, but this is older people asking me. Oh, you like them? So, I say, well, ladies, I have tried all the creams you can think of. There's only one that works. Sperm. <laughs> the younger, the better. The more of it you can get, the better. And actually, if you can get it from different sources as well, because you can't stick with the one kind the whole time. Anyway, talking of age, um, you know, we all get asked you, when, how old you are, like when you're on a night out, what are you? Like, I've cracked on to what the parents do because that shit works. So when I get asked how old I am, I just say, 436 months. Because it makes me sound super cute. Don't you think? Anyway. Anyway, talking about young, my teenage years, I grew up in Scotland, so due to intoxication, they are a bit of a blur. So moving to Canada, I thought, that's it, there's only one thing for it. I'm going to live those years again with my teenage son's friends. <laughs> because I tell you, they did not make them look like that when I was that age <laughs> in Scotland. My son's actually here tonight. Un yeah. Unfortunately, Gerald's calmed down. He came with his dad and his girlfriend. So none of his friends are here tonight, so. Nothing much to see over there, really. <laughs> anyway, I would say that um, the teenage years definitely prepared me for marriage. So, uh, you know, I get nagged at constantly. I've got to tell a lie if I hear there's a party and I want to get 
out for the night and I'm continually having to find new private places to masturbate. <laughs> Talking of masturbation, <laughs> I have been married for a long time. So that comes in handy. Anyway, so I got asked recently if I wanted to take part in that TV show, I don't know if you've heard of it, Wife Swap. Mm -hmm. And I was tempted for five minutes because I thought, mm, I could be on television. But two things put me off. One was, after the two weeks where you swap, I would not want to swap back. And the other one was that my husband would have the experience for two weeks of a real wife. <laughs> now, guys are forever, you know, oh, we don't understand women. It's quite simple, really. Think of the vagina as a washing machine, okay? You go pushing the wrong buttons, it's going to shut down, okay? Anything that goes in should come back out wet, preferably wetter than when it went in. And why you have a half load when it's capable of a full load every time. That's my Thank you. Give it up for Alison Ogilvie.